Hey guys, I'm gonna answer a quick question that was put to me under one of my YouTube videos recently. And the question is, thank you so much for the explanation, Stefan. Do you think it's possible to jump into React after taking your web dev course? I've been doing a lot of thinking and I think that's the route I want to start my journey with seeing as I would like to get a job in my current workplace as a developer down the line with these technologies. So my short answer, my web dev course is really a developer course that happens to teach web dev. It is designed to give deep knowledge that you can use to pivot into many directions. React, of course, is a natural progression because you need to know JS, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and the web in general. I teach all this and much more. This goes to a larger point that I've been talking about in many of my YouTube videos in that the key to becoming a great developer quickly, quickly, is to master the fundamentals. Noobs think in terms of, I want to learn this, I want to learn this stack or that stack. They'll make the mistake of taking a tutorial online where how to create a Twitter clone with Node.js, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, not understanding uh, the, deeper, uh, the deeper concepts and techniques and uh, theory behind all this. Now, again, to a noob, young nerdling developer, that may seem boring, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the quickest way to becoming proficient as a developer, and that means getting a job, is in the fundamentals. I teach the fundamentals, painstakingly put in a lot of effort to make my fundamentals courses very, very thorough. You're going to see that they cover so much more than any tutorial out there could possibly uh, cover, and that's because of the nature of the courses. Just to give you an idea, my HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript course, courses and PHP it took me nearly eight months to produce. Uh, we're getting about 80% of my time on it with the help of a developer who was working part-time with me on that as well. They are very, very thorough. So yes, if you want to get into React, you want to learn React, you don't go and get a React tutorial or book. What you first got to do is understand the fundamentals of the web. HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. Then once you have that covered and all the web concepts and the, uh, around these languages, remember, learning how to program and learning how to code is much more than just writing out the code. There's a whole bunch of other things uh, around that that you have to understand as well. Anyhow, so you do your fundamentals, then you jump into React. You do your fundamentals, then you jump into Node. You do your fundamentals, then you jump into Django, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I hope this uh, is sinking in. This is something people don't talk about enough on the web. Uh, they get caught up again in the latest libraries and stuff, and that's cool. But the latest libraries come when you know your fundamentals and you got a job or you're getting a job and they say, okay, we want you to build X, Y, and Z. And then because you got your fundamentals, you go, okay, I'm going to go do this with Node or I'm going to do this with React or I'm going to do this with Vue or I'm going to go uh, Python, uh, Django or I'm not going to do this with Ruby on Rails.